What's up? It's Katie from Kentucky Hemp Works, and we are back to. I'm really excited about this because um, this week I wanted to talk more about the actual products that we're producing and the raw materials that we're creating because those raw materials can be used for a wide variety of other things. So there are actually companies. So when we crush seed here, there are actually companies out there that take those raw materials and turn it into something totally different. Um, I'll give you some examples. Um, there are manufacturers of soap. I have a couple right here. Um, these are hemp soaps. These are handmade soap. Um, these are made with milk, hemp oil, coconut canola oils, um, this one from Yanali in Tennessee is made with olive oil, castor oil, and hemp seed oil. So we produce the hemp seed oil here, and even though we don't know how to make soap, we still are providing something other people can use to do what they do best. So, um, so anyway, um, to get kind of started on what we're actually doing here, um, so I am sitting here next to a machine, which is called a cold press. Uh, this particular cold press is a toe cool. It's, uh, it's actually from Turkey, so we actually imported it from another country. Um, but what it does, it's a, it's a high efficiency, low temperature oil expelling unit. And when you say expelling, we mean that we're squeezing it out. We're forcing the oil out. Um, so this particular machine, it's all stainless steel. You can see here, it's, um, very beautiful. Honestly, we love it very much. Um, and we'll actually take the hemp seeds that we harvest and crush them under a huge amount of pressure. Um, and, and it actually squeezes the oil out of the seeds. And, um, that process is called expelling because we're expelling the oil out of the seeds and the byproduct of that or what's left over is all the dry parts of the seed. So I, I usually explain it uh, like uh, it's very similar to if you were if you had a handful of grapes and you're holding these grapes and you squeeze your hand, what's going to happen to those grapes? Well, they're going to get squished and all the juice is going to run out of your hands. And then what's going to be left over in your hand? You're going to have all the dry parts of the, the grapes, the fiber, the skin, um, little, little bits of stem and things like that. So, um, so that's sort of, it's not the same process and obviously it's a totally different situation, but the concept is the same because that's what we're doing with these seeds. We're squeezing them. The oil is coming out, and then uh, we're collecting the oil and the dry parts in, in two different containers. Um, so starting from the, the beginning process of this particular machine, um, there are other ways to do oil expelling. There's big, huge machines that'll do tons and tons of seed a day, and I, I mean tons literally, like tens of thousands of pounds of seed a day. Um, but this one does a little bit less. This one does a lot less. We are crushing about 300 pounds of seed a day with this. Um, so it's a slow process, but at the same time, it's very efficient, wasting a lot of material. And, uh, and then for our size, for the size of a company, you know, we don't really need much more than that. We can crush 24 hours a day um, and, and get everything that we need to provide for ourselves and provide for other companies as well. So essentially, um, breaking down what actually happens here, so the seed is gonna be held in this hopper up here. And uh, you can see some old seed in here, but the once the seed comes down into the hopper, this funnel will funnel it down into the head. This is called the head of the machine. And uh, you can get machines that have more than one head. So this is just a single head, so just one piece. And uh, this part right here with these holes, you can see this is called the filter. So that's where the oil is actually going to drip out of the machine and be collected in a pan. Um, and then from the front of the machine right here, this is called the nozzle. Um, all of these pieces have different parts, but the, the main parts of the filter is where the oil comes out. 
and the nozzle is where all the dry parts come out. So if we turn this on and the seed starts going in and the oil starts dripping out, what you're going to see is very slowly, you're going to see these little pellets start to come out the, the tip of the machine here. And we collect them in a bin. Um, but this seed cake pellet, this is all your fiber, your protein. Um, it, it is a tremendous source of nutrition for both humans and animals. General are, are a fantastic nutrition. Um, we aren't currently allowed to use it to market it as animal feed yet because of government regulations, but we will get there eventually. So, um, so one oil and the seed cake are broken down into those two components. Um, you know, we start with our hemp seed and we're breaking it down, and we've got our oil and our seed cake they can then go into a variety of other products as well. So um, here is a little cup. We pour out a little cup of the hemp seed oil. Now I know it looks really dark when it when at the bottom. See how green it is. Cut back and forth. And I don't know, I don't know if you can see just how beautiful and green that is. Um, on mm. on camera, rich and um, that color is you know obviously it's something that we we see in nature a lot. We see green leafy vegetables with lots of chlorophyll, lots of vitamin K, lots of good be green. So um, so hemp is very good for cardiovascular health. Uh, it's great for cognitive function, for brain health, and the reason is all of the essential, uh, all of the essential fatty acids that are contained inside the seed. So um, where where as you would go to a pharmacy and you'd pick up some omega three pills, or you'd get some fish oil, or krill oil, or flaxseed oil. Are we on? Okay, so the video pop. I don't know. Maybe we're still on. We have any viewers? Yep. Okay. So uh, I was a little bit worried about how the cell phone reception was going to be in the shop. So I don't know. You guys might be hearing every other word, but. There we okay. go. Oh, wait. We can move. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Rhea is doing uh, limbo exercises over here. She is literally filming and doing yoga at the same time just so we can get some phone reception. Um, but essentially this is a vegan, uh, vegetable source of those proteins that, that typically we're getting either through our diet or through supplements that we can get at pharmacies. Um, <clears throat> so some of the things that we use the seed oil for, um, we use this in basically every product that we have. So this is the base for all of our products, whether it's CBD drops, uh, whether it's beard oil, um, you know, these, all of our products are really going to be based on hemp seed oil. CBD is a bonus for sure. Uh, but the real magic is in the seeds. And a lot of people overlook this, um, because CBD is popular right now, but hemp seed oil has been used for thousands and thousands of years. Um, it's not a popularity contest. What's important is that you're getting the nutrition that you need to function properly, both in brain health and cardiovascular health, um, and not to mention skin and hair, all the really good things that, that hemp seed oil is good for. So, um, so we use it in a lot of different things. Uh, every one of our products has hemp seed oil in it somewhere. Um, even the protein, when we, when we uh, take this seed cake, we actually grind this up and sift it. Um, this will get ground down into sort of a coffee grind si size. And then we grind it a second time to get it more closer to a flour consistency. Then we sift it out to remove any of the big chunks. But this does have a little bit of hemp seed oil. You're still getting some some good oil, some good omegas, and stuff like that. So other people have used our hemp seeds to make things like bourbon and moonshine. They've used it to make pasta, dog treats, 
uh, the soaps, body lotions, skin scrubs, anywhere that you want to add uh, some nutty flavor, maybe a little grassy flavor, but definitely a nutty flavor, um, extra moisturizing, extra nutritional benefits and things like that, hemp seed oil is the way to go. So um, we had a question from one of the viewers um, at home. So Louie had asked how long it takes for a hemp seed to develop on the plant. I thought it would be a good day to, to answer that. Um, so the rule of thumb is, is that it takes about 30 days to, to grow one seed. Um, for seed, the seeds, you're going to have this long head. It's a Remember, I being referred to as a cola. And that seed head, the seeds at the bottom of the seed head are going to start growing first. And then more will grow higher and more will grow higher. So the ones at the bottom are going to mature faster. So what you're going to end up with is you're going to have a seed head where the seeds at the bottom of the plant are mature and sometimes even ready to pick and shattering off of the plant, while the ones at the very top could still be immature and, uh, and you know, some of them will still be little white seeds that aren't full of all that hemp seed oil. But, um, so uh, it's kind of a balancing act when you're harvesting for hemp seeds because you want to you want to balance uh, mature seeds but not letting them grow falling off the plant. So hemp is is all a very very um, prolific breeder. So it it spreads seeds all over the place um, and they grow very readily. <clears throat> all right, so. Homework for today, um, we've got a math worksheet, back to doing some math, but we do use a lot of math in here. And especially when we're dealing with the hemp seed, we're dealing with the oil, some of the things that we do is we figure out, you know, how many, um, how many pounds, how many gallons of hemp seed do we have based on how, how many, uh, I'm sorry, how many gallons of hemp seed oil do we have based on how many pounds, um, we weigh the bags of seed as they come in, then we crush it, and then we weigh the dry parts, the, the seed cake that's left over to find out what our percentage of oil. We also, um, well, I mean, we use math a lot. Math problems, um, and they're practical math problems. So it's, uh, it's basically figuring how much seed oil do you have, if you have seed, how many gallons of seed oil do you have, et cetera, et cetera. Um, for homework, that I didn't, I didn't put any links down there, but, um, but I would like everybody to just kind of spend some time looking around your house, looking around your garage or your shop or, or wherever you are, and um, look around and try to find things that you could replace hemp seed oil with. So some of the things that I've replaced hemp seed oil with, um, I don't use WD-40 anymore. Um, instead of hemp seed oil for, you know, uh, like squeaky hinges or breaking free bolts or something like that, I can just take a, a paper towel and wipe a little bit of hemp joints or no more squeaky hinges, stuff like that. Um, I also replaced hemp seed oil with basically all of my moisturizers. Um, hair products and things like that. Like hair loves hemp seed oil. Skin loves hemp seed oil. The drier your skin is, the more readily it will suck up all that hemp seed oil. I think sometimes my skin gets so dry that you can hear like a sucking sound when I put it on. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, but there's just tons of things like anywhere that you see oil being used, uh, hair products, um, skin products, things like that, usually you can find a way to substitute hemp seed oil for that. So, and tomorrow we will be back in the shop. We'll be talking about hemp hearts, which is a much different process.